Sandy, is there anything I can do to help? Yeah, go get these oxygen tanks filled at Oxygen Springs. It's just up the road. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Oxygen Springs Resort and Spa. Our refreshing fountains of air rejuvenate and revitalize. How may I help you? Hi, I just wanted to use your oxygen thingies for a minute. Why, you would be more than welcome to. Unfortunately, you don't seem to meet our dress code. You require jackets, you see. Jackets? Isn't everybody in there wearing swimsuits? Well, yes, they are, but before they're allowed to change into swimsuits, they must be wearing jackets. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Just don't think about it too much. And please come back once you've fulfilled our simple dress requirements. Oh, Carter Toss. But I really need some oxygen. It's really important. I see. What I don't see is a jacket. That's because I don't have one. Great, I'm happy for you. So, uh, can I come in? I'm not sure what part of jacket required you don't understand. Mm, the required part. Okay, well that means you need to be wearing a jacket to come inside. Now that's a pretty narrow interpretation, don't you think? Look buddy, I may be just a camera, but I wasn't born yesterday. No, oh, come on camera, it's me, your old pal Spongebob. Should that name mean something to me? Because it doesn't. Please come back when you get a jacket. Thank you. Oh, tartar sauce. I guess I'd better be going. It's been a pleasure recording you. What is this? Someone My golden here looks coconuts. very angry. Sacre bleu, why can't we all just get along? Sandy, is the rocket broken? Well, it's damaged, but it don't look like nothing I can't handle. I'm pretty sure I can fix it, given the time. Okay, well, I'm gonna go look for that oxygen place. Where did you say it was again? It's just up the road. You can't miss it. Sandy, they won't let me into Oxygen Springs. They said I don't meet the dress code. But you're wearing a tie. They said I need a jacket. Hmm, my old friend Cowfish Craig might have one you can borrow. He lives in Waverly Hills. Try checking with him. Okay, thanks, Sandy. I feel bloated. All that water may be extra heavy. Hmm, look. Those houses look like they cost a lot of money. What are you doing on this fine day? Not good. I'm angry. Why are you angry? The sun is shining. Your house is made of gold. Yeah, gold. And it's all mine, you hear? You can't have it. Whoa, whoa. I don't want it. Why are you so upset? I'm sorry for yelling. It's just that no good neighbor of mine, Cowfish Craig. Not only does he make the whole neighborhood look bad by living in a tool shed, but he took one of my golden coconuts. Do you have any idea how long it takes to grow a golden coconut? Longer than a platinum plum? Not funny. Anyway, now I have to stay out here and guard my own property. Sheesh. 
Maybe I can help you to get your golden coconut back. You would do that? I'll tell you what. You get my coconut back, and I'll give you a king's ransom. A king's ransom, huh? Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll give it a try. Why would Cowfish Craig take one of your coconuts? Search me. He's probably angry at us for trying to buy out his land. But his shack is an eyesore. It's keeping all of our property values down. Well, he has as much right to live here as you do. Actually, he has more. He was here first. Waverly Hills was built around him. Well, there you go. That doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. Do you know where I could get a jacket? They won't let me into Oxygen Springs without one. I don't have any to lend you. Maybe you could get one from Sublime Seafoods. They have lots of extras. Well, I gotta go. Please keep off the path. It'll tarnish. My go... That shack looks a little out of place here. Nice place you got here. Much obliged, partner. My name's SpongeBob SquarePants. What's your name? Folks around here call me Cowfish Craig. Not that I give two hoots what folks around here do. Aha! You're the one Sandy sent me to find. I should have known. May I call you Cowfish? I'm not too particular about names and such. A man is a man by virtue of his deeds, not his title. An urchin by any other name would still sting like crazy if he sat on it. Ouch! Ah! I was curious, Mr. Cowfish. Why don't you live in a big old mansion like all these other people? You think a man's house says something about him? I'll let you in on a little secret. A humble man is a happy man. Don't let yourself get caught up in all them our fancy hooplas. Before you know it, all your luxuries have turned into necessities. What about a heated pool? That'd be nice, huh? Yeah, actually a heated pool would rock. Yeah. I spoke with your neighbor. He says you took one of his golden coconuts. Well, that figures. I didn't take nothing. He's got that darn palm tree hanging over my fence, dropping those silly, shiny coconuts in my yard. I just picked one up to prove a point is all. He's always getting his shorts in a bunch about something. Well, um, do you still have it? He'd really like it back. I ain't giving it back. Besides, I'm putting it to really good use. What are you using it for? A paperweight. It's real heavy. What if I find yeah. you a new paperweight? Ah, horse feathers. All right, fine. If you can find something you can replace it with, be my guest. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Cowfish, sir. Well, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. Howdy, partner! Say, do you have any idea where I could find a jacket? 
I need one to get into Oxygen Springs. Now, what would you want to go there for? Nothing there but guppies with their cellular telephones and their fancy shoes and their intranet. Ugh, do yourself a favor. Don't bother. Well, actually, I really need to go there. It's the only place I can get oxygen yeah. to refuel my friend's rocket. Oh, well, in that case, I wish you luck. I'll lend you one of my jackets, but uh, I don't own any. Sometimes I go down to Sublime Seafoods and they'll lend me a jacket because they got a dress code, too. Oh, wait, that won't work. They always take it back when you're done eating. Hmm. Maybe they'd let me use one for a while if I ask nicely. Could be, son. Could be. But I doubt it. Well, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Get along, little doggy. your golden coconut back. Oh, my precious golden coconut. My precious, my precious. Thank you so much, strange square thing. Let me give you your reward. Here you are. A quarter? Well, I don't carry much cash on me. Sorry. Gee, thanks. Sublime Seafoods. How may I help you? I need directions. Where are you guys? We are located at the top of a quaint hill that rises from the Kelp Forest. The view is breathtaking, I assure you, madame. I'm not a madam. Oh, <laughs> I apologize, mademoiselle. How silly of me. Try again. Oh, my goodness. A thousand apologies. Sir? You got it! Well, sir, we are very easy to find. We are located just south of Waverly Hills. Great, thanks! Adieu, sir. Excuse me, I'm just passing through. That's what you think! Nobody gets up these stairs without an invitation. Invitation? To what? Sublime Seafoods is having a party this evening to celebrate the unveiling of their new slogan. Sorry, it's by invitation only. Oh, really? What's the new slogan? I don't know. Something real catchy, I expect. <laughs> catchy. Seafood. Get it? <laughs> no. Move along. Look, I really need to get in there. It's extremely important. Well, you can't. Now shove off. Don't make me come out there. They don't call me the bouncer for nothing. Please, please, Mr. Bouncer. I'll be your best friend. Okay, that does it. I'm coming out. Get ready to say hello to my little friend. Uh-oh. Now why are you making such a commotion? You're the bouncer. I thought we had established that already. You sure there's not a couple more of you in there? What is this twaddle? The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Oh, all right. Now get moving. Bye. The mezzanine. Fine. Hi. Not much business today, huh? Nah, but it should pick up later. Sublime Seafoods is having a party tonight, and they gave me an invitation to give out to one lucky winner. Oh, can I have it? Well, I can't just give it to you. I was instructed to hold a little trivia contest and give the invitation to the winner. Where exactly is Sublime Seafoods anyway? It's in a sunken ship rising out of the kelp forest right behind us. It's quite breathtaking. 
You can see it from those binoculars at Lookout Point. Oh, cool. Sounds fancy. Oh, it is. I have to be frank. You don't look like Sublime Seafood's material, but I like you just the same. Great. A contest? That sounds like fun. What do I have to do? You have to tell me what Sublime Seafood's new slogan is. By the way, I like your shoes. How am I going to find out the slogan? Well, that's for you to figure out. Well, I got to go. The bathroom's that away. <laughs> that's my little joke. That's the kelp forest. Ooh, I can see Sublime Seafoods from here. Sublime Seafoods taste like chicken. Nice slogan. <laughs> I know the slogan! Okay, what is it? Sublime Seafoods taste like chicken. You win! Here is your invitation. Use it in good health. Great, thanks! Hi again. The bottom line is this. No invitation, no entrance, simple. Now get moving. Well, I've got to go. Good evening, my dear sir. Here's my invitation for the night's festivities. Excellent! This is all in order. Enjoy yourself. I don't know what to talk to her about. Hi, this sure is a pretty restaurant. Uh, yes, it is. It is a high-class establishment. And at the risk of sounding rude, you look a little out of your element. Well, I'm really only here to ask if I can borrow a jacket. Uh, you most certainly cannot. Our suits are reserved for patrons who, for some reason or another, have forgotten to bring their own jackets. We cannot go around willy-nilly giving out jackets to every Tom, Dick, and Harry who comes in here. But my name's SpongeBob. Yes, it most certainly is. I'm sorry, uh, SpongeBob, but I cannot help you. SpongeBob SquarePants, table for one, please. I have an invitation. Uh, Mr. SquarePants, I see you did not bring a jacket. Please, get one from Lisa, our coat check girl. Uh, okay. I gotta go. Catch you later. Adieu. Hi, I'm supposed to get a jacket from you. Okay, here you go. Please don't forget to return it when you are done eating. Gotcha, thanks. Wow, nice threads. Sir, if you wish to be seated, you must speak with me first. Oops, sorry. Okay, I got me a jacket. Excellent. We have a table for you all the way in the back up the stairs. Please enjoy your uh, meal. Uh, why, uh, thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Sublime Seafood. Would you like to hear the specials, or are you ready to order? Could you tell me about the specials? Why, of course. We have a kelp salad with basil vinaigrette dressing. The kelp is grown in our very own simulated organic forest. And the vinaigrette is aged 400 years in oak barrels from the Titanic. It is very mild, very sweet, and très délicieux. 
Are there any other specials? We also have the sand cake top top. The sun cakes are firmly packed by Finn and are 100% shell free. That comes with a delicate sea grape leaf tea, which is spiced and sharp. Quite delectable. I'm ready to order. What can I get you? I'll have a Krabby Patty. What? Krabby Patty? Well, I never get out. You must be from Bikini Bottom or some equally despicable place. Get out of this restaurant immediately. In fact, I shall remove you myself. Uh-oh, now I've done it. Oh, poor SpongeBob. In deep water again. But they have forgot to remove his jacket. Maybe some good will come of this after all. Hello, I'm back. Ah, yes, I see. And you have a jacket as well. Excellent. Please proceed inside and have a relaxing oxygen bath. Great, thanks. Half trick, of it. Patrick, what are you doing here? I'm relaxing. Oxygen bath is sweet. But how did you get in here? I've been running around trying to find a jacket just so they'd let me in. Where's your jacket? Jacket? Nobody said anything to me about a jacket. But the camera at the gate, didn't it say anything to you about a dress code? I didn't come through a gate. I just climbed over some coral. I really needed to use the bathroom. I can't get out. I'm not wearing any pants. Well, how'd you get in here then? I don't remember. Well, where are your pants? They're in the bathroom, I think. Can you get them for me? All right, fine. I've got to go, Patrick. OK, bye, SpongeBob. Uh, hello, sir. May I get you a towel? No, but you can tell me what you're doing here. Are you sure you do not need a towel? Yes, I mean, no. I mean, yes, I I do not need a towel. I beg you to reconsider. Everyone should have a towel. I'm a sponge. I practically am a towel. Hey, it's your life. I'm just trying to help us all. Look, the jig is up. I've been seeing you everywhere. Now, what's the story, Buster? Me? You've been seeing me everywhere? Like where? Well, first I saw you at the Krusty Krab. You made me fix you a Krabby Patty. Then I saw you at the bus stop. You were kicking a can in the air. Then I saw you at Sardines. What do you think about that? I think you've gone quite mad. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Petro. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Petro. Wait a second, who was that? That was my twin brother, Petro. Hi, Leonard. Hi, Ryan. Bye, Leonard. Bye, Ryan. And that? That's another twin brother, Ryan. How many twin brothers do you have? Including Petro and Ryan? Yes. 4,132, more or less. Well, that explains it. Explains what? Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Patrick, here are your pants. Whoa, whoopee! Thanks, SpongeBob. Uh, could you turn around for a moment? I don't want you to see me naked. Okay, here I go. Okay. Thanks, SpongeBob. You didn't peek, did you? Yeah, of course not. Now, I just gotta fill these oxygen tanks and we can get going. Whoopee! <laughs> ah! All right! The oxygen tanks are filled! Time to get out of here! 